Okay guys, um, in this series uh, I've uh, made a rotary spark from a, an old fan motor and um, this side is touching this here and this side is touching this side here. Um, yeah, powered by uh, the 12 volt. So um, this uh, meters on these two outputs. Uh, that seems to give the best results. Um, you'll see the light come on as we first start it, um, fully lit, uh, but the AC output isn't as much. And as soon as we uh, start the rotary uh, spark, uh, this goes uh, right up. Um, this is nothing to do with the circuit, these two pieces. So uh, again, pulse with modulator ZBS, flyback. Off one leg, we have a toroid in bifilar winding. One leg coming out um, to the ground. Other leg coming up this side of the rotary spark gap. And this side's connected, um, as you can see, in to, there we go, in through to the black cable, which is in through to the, uh, the yeah, Tesla style uh, coil uh, which comes out here uh, one side of it is actually through to this uh, capacitor and then we come through this ferrite in through to the grenade and then out through into an earth cable um, these are extra bifilar windings on top uh, that's why there's four legs. So, uh, and this is AC output. So, uh, I'll start the input. You can hear until we have a certain voltage in. You won't see much. There we go. Uh, then we'll start the rotary spark. Have the light. And it's easy to control. At a specific speed, you can see, then we have it. Probably a good idea to stop at this point. But, um, yeah. So, that was what I talked about before. Um, with uh, this spark plug. Um, I was tapping it here. On, off, on, off. Which was giving um, quite a large... Uh, spike. So the next thing is now to see if I can collect the uh, spark or the spike. I may have a motor controller on this um, as we're a little bit too fast at the moment. Uh, that could do with another pulse width modulator. Um, yeah, so the next step will be we collect the AC there, see how much we can uh, rectify it. Um, if it's possible, then to fill up another battery then uh, the system it shows that the system's using power of course uh, we're using the earth as a medium we're getting lighting back through the system and we're also charging the battery at the same time 
So um, a lot more testing to be done on uh, the calculations, how much we're using as opposed to how much we're, we're going to be able to collect. But uh, yeah, I need to show you this again just before we turn out. because the motor's moving. So you see a couple of thousand volts. And we have a good connection. So the slower we are, the better for the system. That's where the pulse width modulator will come in. Cool. Turn it off before I uh, kill myself. <laughs> but uh, please come back um, with your comments. I think it's a little step forward. Um, if I've got anything else to um, to show you, I'll send. I'll make another video today. But uh, yes, the quest is still on. Thanks for watching. Please comment.